Good morning. Good morning, boys and girls from third grade. We're going to start our new lesson today. It's about events and places. Let's start with the class. Welcome. Bienvenidos, alumnos. Vamos a comenzar con la clase del día de hoy. Hoy hablaremos sobre eventos y lugares. Events and places. Let me share my screen with you. Déjenme compartir la pantalla. OK. Um, as you can see right now, I have an advertisement right here on the screen. En la pantalla tenemos un anuncio, advertisement. Remember, in the previous lesson, we were talking about advertisements and the parts of it. O sea, que estuvimos hablando de los anuncios y de las partes que lo conforman. Right here tenemos, right here tenemos eh, un evento que se llama Adopt a Pet, el, el lugar que se llama PetSmart, el Mall Center. El next, Saturday, October 19th, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. You will be the you will be the their hero entrance free. Uh, more info at www.adoptarpet.com. That's the advertisement. This is the anuncio que tenemos. Vamos a recordar un poquito. Let's remember a little bit the parts of the advertisement. This part, esta parte que vemos aquí, sería la imagen, ¿verdad? Este, este perrito sería, correspondería a la imagen, de image. ¿Ok? Que es una de las partes que miramos en the advertisement. Then we have adopt a pet. This is the type of event. Adopt a pet. So the image, la imagen. Is el perrito, the little dog. The type of event is adopt a pet. Quiere decir que va a haber un evento para ver quién adopta un per, una mascota, ¿verdad? Then we have Pet Smart Mall Center, which is the place. The place. So, as so far, we have the image, the type of event, and the place. The next part, it says next Saturday, October the 19th. That's what we said it is the date, remember? Dijimos que eso era la fecha, si se acuerdan? We were talking about the days of the week, the months of the year, and the ordinal numbers in this case. Then, at the end of this page, al final de esta página, we have the time, the time from, quiere decir desde 10 a.m., 10 de la mañana, to hasta 7 p.m., las 7, la 7 de la tarde. Remember, we already talked about these numbers and these hours. En la clase anterior miramos acerca de estos números que se llaman cardinales and the time, y las horas en un reloj, ¿verdad? Then we have, for the next, next session, which is the cost or the price. But in this case, the entrance is free. También tenemos el costo o el precio para ingresar, pero en este caso dice que es free. Free quiere decir gratis, ¿verdad? But also, in this kind of event has two more options that we didn't see on the previous lessons, which is this information. This is, the, it is, this is called the email address. 
Esta es la, la dirección de correo electrónico para más información o el sitio web. Es www.adoptapet.com www.adoptapet.com Ok, that's the email address. And also, this document or this uh, advertisement so has someone so has something we called the slogan the slogan which is the the phrase that the brand pronounce very often to keep you reminded remember it que es como que la frasecita que dice cierto producto para que lo, lo recuerdes por ejemplo en español tenemos in spanish we have some uh, several um, slogans like uh, a que no puedes comer solo una de sabritas o recuérdame de gancito and many more just do it the Nike verdad okay let's do a quick review right now of the what we just saw vamos a dar un pequeño repaso de lo que miramos esto se llama un advertisement que es un anuncio verdad this part is the image, el perrito de imagen. The type of event is adopt a pet. Bueno, let me go back a little bit more. Okay, and the image is the, is the pet, the perrito. Adopt a pet is type of, type of event. Pet Smart Mall Center, it is the place. Saturday, October 19th is the date. 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. is the time. Entrance free, no cost, but uh, in case you would say a number, it could be the cost, cost or the price. And we have the email address and we have the slogan, correct? This is the part of the advertisement that we, we saw in the previous class, do you remember? Okay, so let's continue with the next part. This is just a way to start our new class. The next part that we're going to see today is events and places. Do you remember the part of um, the event that it says place or it says also events type of events so we're going to take a look of that right now okay so let me share my screen again with you and then then we will start okay right here events and places i could ask you to get a notebook and your pencil and start writing down these words Les voy a pedir que tengan su libreta y su lápiz y que vayan anotando estas palabras para que las vayan buscando en Google Traductor o en un diccionario. What's the word in Spanish? Ok. So the first one, events. Let's, let's take a look or write down events. And places. Also remember that you can stop this video anytime to write down the words or you can rewind it as well. Okay, the next part is, or the next word is this one. They say, let's take a look of some different events we are familiar with. Okay, write down in your notebook, escribe en su libreta, birthday party celebration graduation wedding funeral anniversary sweet 15 se acuerdan cuál era el número 15 baby shower family reunions and holiday party, okay? Birthday party, celebration, graduation, wedding, 
funeral, anniversary, sweet 15, baby shower, family reunion, and holiday party. Okay, those are the words you're gonna look in your dictionary or in Google Translator. Okay, now that, now that we took a look of the some kind of different events, remember all, all of these are different kinds of events. Now, let's talk a little bit about the holiday parties. Hablemos un poquito de los holiday parties. In Mexico, we have some national Mexican holidays. Trying to find the meaning in Spanish of holidays. So, for example, we have on January 1st, ¿se acuerdan cuál era January? What month is January? And what number, ordinal number is first? So, on January 1st, we have the New Year's Day which is a national holiday, January 1st, New Year's, New Year Day. Then we have on February 5th, do you remember what is February? We already had that lesson. And on February 5th, we all the Mexicans celebrate the Mexican constitutions, constitution, sorry. So on January 1st, New Year, New Year Day. On February 5th, the Mexican Constitution. Then we jump up to March 21st. What month is March? March 21st, and we got Benito Juarez birthday. Benito Juarez birthday on March 21st, which is another Mexican holiday. Also, we got on May 1st, Labor Day, Labor Day. It's another holiday, Mexican holiday. Then we jump up to May the 5th, which we celebrate the anniversary of Puebla's battle. May 5th, the anniversary of Puebla's battle. Write down what's the word battle and also write down what labor means. Then we jump up to May 15th when we celebrate the Teacher's Day. On May 15th, we all the Mexicans celebrate the Teacher's Day. Then we jump up all the way to November the 2nd which is very close from now, November the 2nd, we celebrate the Day of the Dead. Day of the Day on November 2nd. Write down Day of the Dead and try to find what is that celebration about in Mexico. Then from November the 2nd, do you remember November in Spanish? And May as well? Okay, then we jump up to November the 20th when we celebrate the Mexican Revolution. The Mexican Revolution on November the 20th. And the last one that we have in Mexico, the last holiday is Christmas Day on December the 25th. Do you remember December? What month is that in Spanish? and write down in your notebook, Christmas Day, Christmas Day. So in this part, the words that you're going to find out are, en esta lección, en esta parte, las palabras que ustedes van a notar es New Year, Birthday, Labor Day, Battle, Day of the Dead, and Christmas Day. 
Those are the words you're going to find out its meaning in Spanish. Okay, this is related to the National Mexican holiday. Now, let's take a look of the United States of America. What holidays do they have? Vamos a ver los días festivos en Estados Unidos. You might say, why do I need to know what is the holidays in the United States? Ustedes pueden decir, ¿y para qué quiero saber los días festivos en los Estados Unidos? Well, because we are so connected to them, first of all, with this language. Estamos muy conectados con ellos, empezando con el lenguaje, with the video games, con los videojuegos, the best movies, las mejores películas, the songs that we listen, las muchas eh, canciones que escuchamos, and many other different items or products that we consumed, y, many, y muchos otros productos que consumimos de con ellos. So, let's take a look of their culture. Vamos a mirar un poquito de su cultura. Muy bien. Among the USA holidays are, dentro de los días festivos de Estados Unidos, the New Year's Day, New Year's Day, also on January 1st. As you can see, we both celebrate this one. Como pueden notar, los dos países celebramos este, New Year's Day. New Year's Day on January 1st. Then they have another one, which is called Martin Luther King's birthday on January the 20th. Martin Luther King's birthday on January the 20th. Then they have the President's Day on February 17th. President's Day on February the 17th. Then also they have the Memorial Day on May 25th. Memorial Day on May 25th. They also have the Labor Day on September the 7th. We in Mexico also have we also have the, the Labor Day, but on different date, on different day and month, correct? Different date. The Labor Day. Then they celebrate, actually more than us, the Columbus Day on October the 12th. It just passed last week. The Columbus Day. Remember, do you remember what Columbus Day was for? ¿Se acuerdan de qué celebramos en Columbus Day el 12 de octubre? October the 12th. Then we have the Veterans Day. Veterans Day on November the 11th. They have something very good, very special that I love, which is the Thanksgiving Day on November the 26th. Thanksgiving Day on November the 26th. We are going to be talking about on the next uh, weeks about this holiday Thanksgiving. And also they have the Christmas Day. Christmas Day also is celebrated in Mexico on the same date. As you can notice, we have two similar days or two similar celebrations on the same day in both countries. Uh, the New Year's Day on January the 1st and Christmas Day on December the 25th. These are the national holidays or types of events in both countries. Okay, what words do we need to find out in our dictionary in Spanish? ¿Qué palabras debo encontrar en mi diccionario en español y en inglés? Son estas palabras. Thanksgiving. ¿Qué significa Thanksgiving? And Memorial. Memorial. The only two. And with that exercise, we finish what we have uh, prepared for events. Now let's take a look of places.
ya terminamos con los tipos de eventos. Now, vamos, ahora vamos a ver los lugares. Different places. Remember? Places. Let's see. Right here we have places to visit. Places to visit. Of course, when this pandemic situation ends. Por supuesto, cuando termine esta pandemia, ¿verdad? One, the first one is the movie theater. Estas palabras las anotan. Places visit. And then movie theater. The movie theater. Then another place to visit is the shopping mall. The shopping mall. Also, we have the park. The park. The zoo. The zoo. The restaurant. The restaurant. The barber shop. The barber shop. Okay, let's repeat these words again. You repeat right after me. Vamos a practicar estas palabras. Ustedes repiten después de mí. The movie theater. The movie theater. The shopping mall. The shopping mall. The park. The park. Park, the zoo, the zoo, zoo. Next one, the restaurant, the restaurant. The next one, the barber shop, the barber shop. Okay, those words you're going to. Find them, their meaning in Spanish. Ustedes van a buscar estas palabras en español, ¿ok? Let's continue with the next part. Places to visit. We got the church. Write down the word. Escriban esta palabra. The church. The church. Then we have the bakery. The bakery, the pet shop, the pet shop, the beach, the beach, the beach, the school, the school. The bank, the bank, the supermarket, the supermarket, and the butcher, and the butcher, butcher. Okay, let's take a look at a closer look to these words. Vamos a pronunciar estas palabras una vez más, en forma más. Precisa. Repeat after me. Repitan después de mí. The church. Church. The church. The bakery. The bakery. The pet shop. The pet shop. The beach. The beach. The school. School, the school, the bank, the bank, the supermarket, the supermarket, and finally, the butcher, the butcher. Those are the different places that we could be, we can visit once with this pandemic situation and one of some of them correct okay now let's take a look of what would be our homework vamos a ver cuál va a ser también nuestra tarea pero esta tarea es de sentences to practice 
that you need to record and send them to me. Estas frases ustedes las tienen que practicar, grabárselas y mandarme un audio o un video a mí, como siempre lo hacen sus papas. ¿Ok? ¿Okay? Pueden repetir después de mí para que sepan la pronunciación. You can repeat right after me to know the pronunciation. Then you practice them at home. The first one. On Sunday, my family goes to church. On Sunday, my family goes to church. One more time. On Sunday, my family goes to church. The next one. On Monday, I go to school. On Monday, I go to school. One more time. On Monday, I go to school. On Monday, I go to school. On Sunday, my family goes to church. The next one. On Tuesday, my brother goes to the park. On Tuesday, my brother goes to the park. But one more time. On Tuesday, my brother goes to the park. The next one. On Wednesday, I take my dog to the pet store. On Wednesday, I take my dog to the pet store. One more time. On Wednesday, I take my dog to the pet store. The next one. On Thursday, we go to the supermarket. On Thursday, we go to the supermarket. One more time. On Thursday, we go to the supermarket. The, the next one. On Friday, we go to the restaurant. On Friday, we go to the restaurant. One more time, última vez. On Friday, we go to the restaurant. And the last one, la última. On Saturday, we go to the shopping mall. On Saturday, we go to the shopping mall. Thank you very much. This is the last part of this presentation. Remember that you need to practice the vocabulary with me. Remember also that you need to find out in Spanish the words that we mentioned. And at the end, you have to record yourself, your voice, uh, in an audio or a video and send it to me with the phrases that we just practice. Okay? If you have any questions, you, you know, your parents know that I'm always here to help you out with any, with any situation they must have. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Gracias. Que pasen muy buenas tardes y buen día.